What's up guys, this is Forrest Knight on the very first episode of My Tech Setup where I show off your setup using photos and videos that you submitted to me. I'll be giving feedback on your setup, what I like, how I feel it can be improved, but in doing so, I need to know what you do with your setup. Are you a videographer, are you a developer, are you a gamer, or are you just a casual user with a sick setup? If you're any of those, be sure to submit your setup using the rules listed at the end of this video and in the description box below. This series is not to criticize your setup, but to show you off and give my feedback on your setup. Now to start off the series, it's only right for me to show off my setup and recommend to myself what I should do. Now I currently use two computers, the first being my custom built Windows desktop, the second being my MacBook Pro. My MacBook Pro is a 2012 MacBook Pro with an i7 core processor, 8GB of RAM and 750GB hard disk drive. Now the first thing I would say is to get a one terabyte solid state drive in order to allow my computer to run a lot faster. It'll be more efficient because that'll increase the speed significantly. I use this machine for iOS development and the occasional video editing when I don't have access to my desktop. It's a sturdy machine I'm able to carry around anywhere I go and I know it'll do the job that I need to do. My desktop has an i5 unlocked 3.5 gigahertz processor that is overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. It has 8GB of RAM with two empty slots on my MSI Z97 motherboard. It's running a GTX 970 and it has a 250GB solid state drive. It also has a 1TB hard disk drive that is not connected due to a bad SATA cable. It has many more specs it can go into, but that's in another video. I use this for anything I need other than iOS development, of course. Video editing, casual use, gaming especially, because I can't do that on my Mac. The main game I currently play is Overwatch, and I thoroughly enjoy playing that with my ASUS 27-inch monitor. Play of the game. Let's drop the beat. So I recommend I get two four gigabyte sticks of RAM in order to boost my 8 gigabytes up to 16 gigabytes. I should also definitely get a new SATA cable so I can put that one terabyte hard drive to use. I eventually plan to condense all of this into one single laptop, that being a MacBook Pro, since iOS development and video editing will be my two main things and uses for the laptop. A Hackintosh is out of question as Mac OS and a MacBook Pro are optimized to work with each other, which means Mac OS will run better on a lower spec MacBook Pro than it would on a custom built Hackintosh 9 times out of 10. And many times I've heard incompatibility issues between Hackintosh and the Apple App Store. And me being an iOS developer, I don't want to run into any problems of that nature. For video games, we will see in the future with how much time I have, but if I really feel the urge to play Overwatch, I will dual boot my MacBook Pro and put Windows on it as well. Or if I really want a separate computer for that, then I'll just build a Steam box. A few of my accessories include the Panasonic Lumix G7 with the 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens, and it's currently standing on a tiny Joby Gorillapod, the smallest you can find. And I would highly recommend myself to get a wider angle lens like the 7 to 14 millimeter Panasonic Lumix G7 lens and get a tripod. Gorilla pods are great, but they're not really the best for me. I need a five to six foot tall tripod, preferably the $75 Manfrotto. I keep all my video files on a Seagate four terabyte external hard drive, partitioned one terabyte Windows, three terabyte Mac OS. As I said, I have another one terabyte that is not in use right now on my Windows, so I have more storage available if needed. Since my desktop doesn't have an SD card reader like my MacBook, I had to buy an external memory card reader, and I bought the Insignia USB 3.0 multi-format memory card reader. Now, I would not recommend this card reader to everybody, or anybody for that matter. Not because it's bad, it's actually really good. It's just that if you don't use all of the memory cards, or at least most of the memory card slots in this, there are other options that are just as good, but with other ports that you'll actually use, like a USB 3.0. Of course, since I'm a fan of Apple and an aspiring iOS developer, I have the new iPhone 7. And that's it, that's my current tech setup that I use for all sorts of activities. If you would like your tech setup featured on my channel, there are a few quick and simple rules that you have to follow in order to get it on the channel. First, have a picture like any of these. Basically, have a well-lit photo that contains all items in your tech setup. This photo will be used to showcase your full setup, so make sure it looks clean and represents your setup the best it can. Also, a photo of 
each item in your tech setup would be ideal. But make sure you include at least three. Make sure all photos are taken in landscape as opposed to portrait because landscape is a lot easier to incorporate into a video and it looks a lot better. Video submissions are welcome, but not necessary. If you do choose to submit a video, be sure they're accompanied by the photos we just discussed as it will supplement those videos, not replace them. Send me a full list of items in your setup. Specs are a plus as it will give us a better understanding of what you're working with. Also, be sure to include a clip of what you do. If you're an iOS developer, send us a video or screenshots of the app you created. If you're a gamer, send gameplay. If you're a 3D artist, send us your art. Or even better, send us a time lapse of you creating your art. And music producers, send me a song and permission to feature it. And for everyone, don't forget to include a place to reach you. I want you to benefit as much as possible. And remember, as I grow my channel, the more and more people will see the video you're featured in. Where can they find you beyond that? Do you have an Instagram, Gamertag, website? Be sure to include something like that if you want the exposure. Otherwise, I will assume you wish to stay anonymous. So I'm genuinely excited to see your tech setup and how you use it. I've always been fascinated to see what others use their tech for and why they choose the gear they do. I plan to make one my tech setup every week and in order to do that, I need submissions. So please be sure to include this video with friends, family, or anyone you know who's interested in tech. And again, if you want to send in a submission, full instructions are in the description box below. Just follow those, submit, and you will be featured on this channel. Oh yeah, every 10th episode of this series, I'll be giving away a prize to someone who submitted their tech setup. The prize will be something beneficial to them and what they do. What prize I give depends on the growth of this channel. The more I grow, the better the prize. So again, be sure to share this series. I truly do appreciate it and I appreciate all of y'all. And I don't want you to miss the next episode, so as a friendly reminder, don't forget to subscribe below and I'll see you in the next one. Here we go! Yeah.